hello Merry Christmas Happy New Year I hope you guys are doing super well um, I just thought I would talk to you guys as I do my makeup this morning because I always like when other people do that so um, that's what I'm gonna do I haven't posted a video in like a month and um, yeah so this is my first time back at it and I'm so excited to be back. I've really missed it. I've missed the creative outlet that this has become for me. Um, just filming new recipes and just having this kind of to inspire me and propel me to find new recipes to share with you guys. I just love that part of this whole um, thing. So I've really missed that. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I promise this is the scariest part. It's, it's gonna look okay in the end, but it's gonna be pretty rough for a while, okay? I took time off because I just felt too overwhelmed during the Christmas kind of New Year's season to be posting any videos and filming any videos and I'm trying really hard not to make this something that is um, just something that I'm doing because I have to because I made a commitment or whatever. Um, I'm, I have a personality where I set goals and I try so hard to reach them and sometimes that can be to the detriment of um, more important things in my life so I am um, from the beginning of this whole YouTube thing I said to myself that I wasn't gonna let that happen and that I was gonna make sure that I was not you know staying up late editing videos when I knew I'd have to be up early in the morning with saffron so yeah <clears throat> I feel like even though I missed um, uploading for a month I feel good about it and like it was the right thing to do but I'm back and I'm refreshed and I have one eyebrow folks for Christmas I got a ring light for my brother so uh, I'm super excited about that I'm using it right now and it's on a tripod so it was a good Christmas for my YouTube channel because you guys know how bad my lighting is in my kitchen it's killer so if you're excited that I am back and I'm going to be posting videos, please do give this video a like. It really supports my channel. And also, if you're new here, um, press the subscribe button to see vegetarian meal inspiration almost every week. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call those good. I got a new cookbook for Christmas. It's the Cookie and Kate cookbook. I think it's called Love Real Food. Um, so that's gonna be great. I don't love sharing cookbook recipes with you guys because I can't share the recipe, but um, I feel like you guys should just all buy that cookbook if you're at all interested in vegetarian food, put it on your wish list because she is just, she's really great. For today, I have no plans for any food. My fridge is in a very strange state of having food in it, but not, it's just confused, you know? So I don't know what I'm making for dinner. I don't know if it's gonna be anything worth sharing or if it's gonna be Annie's mac and cheese, which is great. Um, so maybe I'll share that, but honestly, I'd kind of love to make like cookies or something just to break myself back into this whole thing. Maybe we should make cookies this afternoon, wouldn't that be fun? I always think cookies are fun. A little backstory if you, I don't know why you'd know this. I have loved YouTube for like 10 years now. Not really a big TV person. I've always been a YouTube kind of person. And um, like everybody else who started watching YouTube 10 years ago, who was a teenage girl, I watched all the beauty gurus and I just watched makeup tutorials. That's just like what was on YouTube. And now there's like none. <laughs> and so doing a little chit chat get ready with me feels kind of surreal because um I never I mean I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for ever since then and never really thought I would actually have the guts to do it but since becoming a mom I just I I feel a lot more confident and more than that I feel less afraid because I just feel empowered I guess <laughs> I don't know I, I I washed my hair last night and I guess I slept on it weird the only product shout out I'm gonna do today is for the Maybelline Superstay ink 
matte ink. I am not a makeup hoarder too terribly. Like I don't buy a million things. I try to use up what I have for the most part, but I have like, I think I have like 13 of these now or something. These will stay on all day and you will have to scrub them off before bed. This is my look. I'm gonna get the baby. Talk to you later. Okay, so getting back into it and we are gonna make some homemade hamburger buns. I actually made the dough for this earlier, but I've made bread on this channel, it feels like a lot of times and I don't know, I just didn't feel like pointing the camera at my KitchenAid to show you the same, same process over and over again. Oh, that's so satisfying. So yeah, there's that dough and I'm now going to um, flatten it out and says to pat it into a rectangle and then basically you're gonna just kind of make rolls out of it. So eight equal um, pieces, roll them up and then stick them out um, on a, on, I'm gonna use a silicone baking mat, stick them there like four by four. You gotta put them a little bit close together so that the edges touch so that they really look like hamburger buns when you take them out. Um, and then I'm going to let them rise again for about another hour and then I'm gonna cook them up. Anyway, that's the process. Okay, let's talk about this lighting though. It's so much better. Um, so this ring light is on and I'm kind of messing around with the settings, but I'll show you what it's like when the ring light is off. So sad. This is our 2020 mood. 2021 mood, people, we are here. So just flowered my work surface. Uh, it's mostly clean. I think these are red pepper flakes, so somebody's gonna get those. And I don't think I said what I was making for dinner. I'm just, um, I thought some Beyond Meat burgers that I forgot were in my freezer. And it's just two of them. I'm gonna cook those up tonight. But I love to take like a frozen burger and really elevate it with, I don't always make homemade buns, but I do love to do that. And then um, I think I'm gonna do some caramelized onion that is just so good. This does make eight hamburger buns. And so I will just be sticking six of them in the freezer, maybe four because I do kind of like them for like egg sandwiches too. But yeah, these are just, they're just so good. I'm really addicted to them. So we'll have burgers tonight and that's just a really easy meal. That's like an easy win. Uh, I just have felt kind of bogged down by cooking lately um, because I've been kind of out of my house a lot. It's been hard for me to stock my fridge with ingredients. Um, so now we're home for a while and I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow. Um, I have been doing pickup groceries, but just had like a couple issues with them the last few times. So I just feel like I need to go in person to get the things that I need and then I can go back to doing pickup. Also, I need my 85% dark chocolate from the bulk bins at Sprouts. There is no comparison of any other chocolate. I just love it and I eat it pretty much every night. Let me know if anybody would be interested in a what I eat in a day. I can't remember if I've asked this before. I've gone back and forth about wanting to do them because I feel like this channel is supposed to be like cooking and I don't know. I don't think I know everything about eating well, but I really love watching what I eat in day videos. So if that would be like fun for you at all, I could do that. Um, I just find it helps me to get new ideas of like new snacks or, you know, a new creamer to put in my coffee or whatever. So it would be kind of fun, but I'm not totally tied to the idea. I feel like this angle makes it actually look like a cooking show because before I could not get both my head and the food in the frame, but now that I actually have a tripod, I can. I'm gonna line these babies up. I can't remember how far apart they're supposed to be. Oh, I'm supposed to like flatten these out into like, you know, bun shapes. And they're supposed to be a half inch apart do that. 
I love burgers. Definitely something that I used to order before I was vegetarian. Um, but ever since Beyond Beef was a thing, I don't know when they started, you know, being a thing, a couple years ago, I don't miss going out to eat and getting really fancy burgers anymore because I make them at home and they are just so good. I just love it. And um, yeah, they're expensive, the Beyond Beef, but it's still cheaper than going out to like a pub and getting a burger, which I think they're just as good, if not better, than something that I would order uh, at a restaurant. Especially if you go through the trouble of making your own hamburger buns, caramelizing some onions and all that jazz. So yeah, it's like one of those dinners that I look forward to all day long if I know that's what we're eating for dinner. Okay, I'm just going to put these underneath a dish towel and let them rise for about an hour until they're just nice and puffy. After they've risen for an hour, I am going to put an egg wash on them, sprinkle them with sesame seeds, and pop them in the oven to bake. I just chopped up a little bit of red onion and I'm just gonna let that kind of saute slowly in a little pan. So while my onion is caramelizing, I'm actually going to whip up some overnight oats to eat tomorrow morning. This is the best they've ever come out. Like, incredible. Remember the first time you had these and you didn't know I had made the buns? You were like,